with uh, White Wizard. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm fine. So you guys are going to be shelling the East Coast this month and back over to the West Coast? Yes, we are. We're uh, actually hitting, uh, hitting the East Coast, uh, Northeast, then we're going all the way down uh, down the coast of Florida and then all the way across uh, back to back home, then up the West Coast and back down. So who are you guys out on the road with right now? Uh, we are going with uh, Corpa Kalani, Tear, and Swashbuckle. And how are people responding to your classic uh, sort of new wave of British heavy metal sound? Well, a lot of people are actually uh, surprised that uh, an American band is playing this style of music. It's, it, we're getting a good response from it. You think people are tired of all the mindless screaming and lack of melody? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, there's only so much that can be done with that and so much that the boundaries can be pushed and so much so much heaviness can be brought out of it. You know, I mean, uh, everybody's getting tired of it and they want to get back to the roots of everything. So, you know, it's, it's nice to find somebody that's not sounds like Cookie Monster all the time. <laughs> Since High Speed GTO, since the EP, John basically had to reinvent the band. Is it safe to ask what happened with the original incarnation? Well, uh, they they just didn't get along, you know, musical differences and all that, and decided to split. Is is pretty much the way the way that happened. So, how did John come to reach out to you? He actually found me through MySpace, believe it or not. I mean, <laughs> go figure. Um, I got a message from him one day, checked out the music, so, you know, really, really liked it, and flew out for an audition and yeah. got the gig. Excellent. So how's how's everything going with the chemistry this time around with the lineup? Oh, this uh, it, this is great. I mean, you know, we're all all having a good time together. Everybody's enjoying themselves, and nobody's trying to choke each other yet. So of course, we're only two days out on the road. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> but no, no, I mean, everybody gets along, you know, that's pretty, pretty important. Um, you know, we get along musically as well as, uh, as well as personally. So that's, that's a good thing. I think that's important for a band to survive. You know, you, you can be professional about it and, and not like each other, but once you get out on the road, that starts selling on you and it'll, it, it will eventually lead to what happened with the first lineup. So everybody gets along really well in this lineup. The new CD, Over the Top, comes out in March. Did you guys consider redoing a few of the songs from the demo with the new lineup? Well, not really. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a new lineup, you know, new material, and we, we pretty much just wanted to go out and have this lineup record it. So it would it would have been, you know, the demo is what it is. Uh, GTO is, you know, we don't want to mess with that. That was a different thing. I mean, there's there's no sense in rehashing it since it's a pretty much a brand new band, you know, as far as the lineup goes. So, I mean, you know, new material brings out brings out different things and different people, so it was better It was better to do uh, uh, an entire new album than it would to be uh, re-record anything. So this time around, did you and the other guys get involved in the writing process for the new CD, or did John do it all himself? John, John pretty much had everything, yeah, John pretty much had everything um, mapped out before uh, he, the lineup was complete. We did throw in some ideas as far as, you know, um, uh, harmonies and melodies and stuff like that goes, guitar solos and all that, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Other, uh, other than that, you know, John wrote the majority of the material. He had it written before the lineup was complete. Now, do you think going forward, when you guys get ready to do the next one, you'll be able to do your own lyrics and things like that? Or, well, I mean, you know, uh, this this is pretty much his his baby. Um, but I mean, as far as yeah, ideas go, I mean, everybody's open to throw throw in what they want to, since this lineup is really solid. Well, I just got my first listen to the new album this morning, and it simply fucking rakes. Are you guys happy with how it turned out? Absolutely, yeah, definitely. We worked with uh, Ralph Patlin. He's uh, worked with UFO and um, Head from Corn, and uh, but he's he's definitely a, a great guy to, to have done. And we were very happy with the results that uh, that we got out of it. To be honest with you, I mean, the, the, I don't think the album would have turned out you know, would have turned out like it is without the without the guys that are in it right now. Now, do you have a favorite track from the album, or one that you really enjoy doing my, live? Uh, my, uh, personally, yes. Yeah, so, uh, Out of Control is my my personal favorite track from the album. See, normally you get that political answer where, oh, I love all the tracks equally, like they're your children or something. Well, I mean, I, I you know, I like I, yes, the entire album is great. I mean, but as far as personal favorites go, mine would be Out of Control, and then um, then a uh, High Roller, and then. Yeah, I mean, I've I've got mine basically numbered as which ones are my favorite and the way they go. <laughs> now, are you guys you guys get enough time each night that you're pretty much doing the entire album when you perform? No, no, we're uh, we're actually still uh, we're we're still supporting uh, GTO uh, right now. Gotcha. So, um, we're, we've got a uh, one, two, three, four, four of the new songs in the set 
but um, we're not gonna we're not gonna start start promoting that heavy until the album actually drops. So yeah. As a vocalist, who inspires you? Oh wow, all the classics, man. Halford, uh, Dickinson, Dio. Got some newer inspirations like Ralph Sheeper from Primal Fear, probably World Dane from Nevermore. Pretty much the classic leads that inspired me to to want to sing the way I do. Any good road stories or pranks so far? Not yet. We're getting there, though. I'm sure there's going to be some coming up. So what can people expect from a White Wizard show? Uh, high energy. Uh, you know, pretty much what you hear on the album is what you're going to get to hear on the stage. And, and it's my philosophy that if you do something on the album, you should be able to pull it off live, and you should give people a great show. That If they're expecting that song, then that's what they need to hear is that song. They, they, you know, shouldn't be anything with any kind of backing harmonies or anything like that. No, no, that's that's wrong. If you're gonna if you're gonna perform it on the album, you should perform it live. So they're gonna get a, uh, you know, awesome performance by five very talented guys. Now, who would you guys like to tour with? Oh, whoever, whoever wants to take us out on tour, <laughs> really, if you want to be honest. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, uh, our, our dream, our dream would be Iron Maiden and their Priest. What new bands are you high on right now, given the surge of Scream oh, wow. uh, Primal Fear, Nevermore, Angel Dust, Camelot, Ice Earth. Actually, uh, you know, I, I pretty much listen to power metal. Twin guitars, good lead, good good lead vocals. So that's that's me. You know, what's the most unusual thing you listen to? The most unusual thing I listen to? Well, yeah. I listen to opera. Opera? Is that for opera. your vocal thing, or...? Yes, well, that's yeah, that's a that's a vocal thing. I mean, I, I actually I really enjoy it. So you know, you want it unusual? There you go. <laughs> so where, now, where are you from originally? I am from Florida. Florida. Okay. Now, so what were you doing when John found you? You said he found you on MySpace. Were you in another band at the time? I was. I was. Yeah, I was actually in another band at the time called November out of uh, Jacksonville, Florida. It was kind of uh, turning into somewhat of a dead end for me. That's one of the reasons why I went ahead and, and joined up with this band was, you know, the the band really wasn't going where I wanted it to go. So you know, John got in touch with me, and I listened to I listened to the music, and that's exactly what I wanted, exactly the kind of band that I wanted to be in. So for this to pretty much drop in my lap, I'd have been stupid not to take up, you know, take the opportunity to get on it. Well, let's do a little sort of quick word association and some quick questions here. Ronnie okay. James Dio. I hope he gets better. Is it strange to think that he's 67 years old now? Oh, no, 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 not not whatsoever. I mean, the, the, that kind of talent never, you know, I mean, never gets old. <laughs> the man can, you know, I don't, I don't care if the man's, you know, got silver, one silver hair still sticking out of his head and gets pushed on the stage in a wheelchair. As long as he sings the way he does, that, that yeah, no. I'm no, never going to worry about how old that man gets. <laughs> Paul Diano or Bruce Dickinson? Dickinson. Jessica Beale or Jessica Alba? Alba. Jack Daniels or Southern Comfort? Southern Comfort, of course. <laughs> and for the ladies, boxers or briefs? Not and neither. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of great women in metal these days. Who do you find to be the hottest and who is the most talented? Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Uh Simone Simons from uh, Epica's Actually, she's she's pretty much both very hot and she's very talented. So, uh, I think Annette Oslin from uh, Nightwish is very talented. As far as as far as the hottest, I feel I, I think Dora is still pretty much got it. My guitar player just asked me if I called a dating service. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is Match. dot com. <laughs> heavy, heavy metal, heavy metal dot com. Whose bathwater would you most like to drink? <laughs> Oh wow! And you can't say Simone Simons now. You already used her. Yeah, I know. I know. That's, that's true. That's true. Well, let's see. Okay, if that's the case, Angela Gossow from uh, Arch Enemy. What would you like to say to the readers out there? I mean, what do you want to tell them? Get get ready for for the Wizard in 2010 because we're coming your way and we're going to blow your asses away. Be safe on the road, and uh, we'll see you in 2010. Thank you, Russ. Take care, Wyatt. I'm